going to show you how to use iMovie real quick. I just use some really rudimentary things to put things together. So this is my library for some of the things that we have done already. So what you're going to do, you're going to just start a new one. You're going to just go create new movie, click, and you're going to choose movie and just hit OK. You want it in your movie library. Okay, if you haven't used this before, you might have, but I'm just going to go through it just to be on the safe side. This is your preview win window when you're watching clips of what you've done. This is your clipboard. This is where you're going to put the, the raw material that you're going to use. And so what you want to do before you start in iMovie is get your video shot, your um, titling cards together, and if you need help with that, you can just send me the information you want on there and I can build. It's just a JPEG is what I use. I just build it in Photoshop. But you can use, you probably have different software that you use for that or you might use Photoshop. So, okay, so I'm going to import media because I want to just start and put my raw material up here. So I'm going to click import media. And I'm going to go to, so this is just one that Kate had just sent me. So I'm going to put import selected. Okay, so there's my video. And now I need more stuff. Here's now I don't have my big arrow here anymore. I got to use the little little arrow up here. Do the same thing to just give it more information. Um, so I'm going to go in and find a couple of the titles that I already made. Okay, here we go. My junk mail, and then here's my here's a title that I had. Okay, so I'm going to import that. Okay, so now I have my two things. So you might have a graphic for the beginning, a graphic for the end, and video for the center. Um, I kind of mix them up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag this down. And what it does is it automatically gives you this box, and it gives you four seconds. Um, and this box is very much like if you have a box in Publisher. You can just make it smaller, and you can see there's a little timer there. So a minute, or a, a 1.10 seconds, half a second. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this up for two seconds. Okay, so when I click on it, it's active. When I click off of it, it's not. Okay, so if I want something to happen to that. I need it to be highlighted in yellow. And this line it, it tells me where I am in the image. So to start it, to preview it, and here's my preview up here, I'm going to hit the space bar. And it just looks like that because it's just a static image. Okay. So now I'm going to bring my graphic or my video down here. So now if I try to make a change on, on my um, static image, it's not going to happen because it's not highlighted. My video is highlighted, so this is my static image, this is my video. So then I'm going to right click or double tap on my image and I'm going to detach the audio. And what that's going to do, it's going to put the audio down here so that I can work on it separately. And um, so let's say, so I want to see what this says. So I put my cursor right there. So welcome to my crafting slash dinner table. Because when we're at home, I don't have studio space. And you can see that I it kind of ran off the page. So I right here, in front of me. So you'll find lots of paint and possibly that kind of changes the scale of table, that. But I do promise we clean it before we eat here. And if I want to stop. Um, with okay. So let's say that you get to a part where you want to put another little instruction in there. Um, what I do is, okay, so command B, like boy, is for a break. If you want to break this so that you can um, take something out or insert something, but it's only going to break the thing that is highlighted and you don't want to break up the audio and the video because that gets really confusing because then they don't sync up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click both of those. I'm going to hold down my shift key, click the other one. So they're both done now um, or highlighted now. So I'm going to command B and that makes a break there. Okay. So now when I'm watching it, it's not going to make any difference. 
You're not going to um, see it in your preview. You don't break. see a break, but it allows me to do different things there. So I'm going to hit my space bar to stop it. So what it allows me to do is, let's say I want another um, graphic there. It allows me to put that right there. Okay, now I'm going to... On our table, but I do promise we clean it before we eat here. Um, with current events, I thought. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of how you put those pieces together. Wonderful. So the other thing is you can see that when you put um, that together, events, I thought that's a very harsh, quick jump. So these things in between are transitions. So I'm going to go to transitions up here. And really, the only transition you really want to use are fade to black, fade to white, or the cross blur or the cross dissolve. Anything else just looks goofy and it makes people a little crazy. So I'm going to put the, the cross. Oh, let's see. This is a black thing. So I'm going to fade to black here. I'm going to drop that right there. And you see now that has a little box. And I'm going to fade to white here and let's see between this one I'll put the cross blur that way you can see all of them okay so now those are on there and I'm gonna so welcome to my crafting slash dinner table see we made this let's see there so welcome to my craft okay so that's the cross blur um, with current events I thought and you saw how that is just a little nicer smoother transition okay so that's about doing that. So let's say that you really need to take something out that I have a terrible habit of clicking my tongue and it's it drives me nuts. So I'm sure it drives everybody else totally bonkers. So what I do is I will uh, select both of them so that the audio and the video audio and video I'll put a break. Man B. Okay, now I have two. And let's say, let's see what Kate is saying here. Who is a Atlanta, Georgia street artist or muralist. Okay. And some of his favorite pieces. So we're going to just take out, oh, and see how I'm only doing one thing. I want to make sure that both of those, let's see, I'm going to undo. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that both of these are selected. So that when I make this change, both the audio and the video are okay. So let's see. So I took a little bit out. Mike.com, Atlanta, Who Georgia. Is a street artist or muralist? And some of his. Uh oh. See, we got this kind of overlapped. Okay. Welcome to the world of GregMike.com, Atlanta, Georgia. So you can see that I just took out some and some, of his favorite some of what she she said. So you typically want to have something at the front, something at the back. So let's put your titling at the back. And um, let's see, let's make this a little bigger so we can kind of see how big these are. Because this one all of a sudden looks very small. I like to have four seconds in there. That's a nice... Thing to have. I'll make this a little bigger so you can kind of see that. So welcome to my crafting slash dinner. Okay. So I want a little music behind here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to audio and I'm gonna go to sound effects. And there are a couple of sound effects I use all the time. I use this acoustic sunrise just because it's a, a, um, what do you, oh, see, there's the clicking that I do. Sorry. Um, let's see. So let's do this. We'll try this out. Okay. So that's kind of groovy. Uh, okay. So what I have to do is I have to define a thing. So wherever it starts, I'm going to put I. I is for in, and I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to do O for out. Okay, so now that created this nice little chunk. 
that I can just drag down here, okay? And you'll see what happens is it looks like that other um, video or audio went bye-bye, but it really didn't, it just bumped it down. So what we're gonna do, these two things overlap, okay? And so what we're gonna do, you see this little ball right here? That is your fade out. So I'm gonna bring this over here. So first let me do it with it, just done the, without doing that. So we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, so now what happened is we can see that that's talking over Kate. So we'll do, we can have her over a little bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull this over. And now we'll see if it fades out enough. Welcome to my craft music slash dinner table. Okay, and you can probably hear that Kate's voice is really low. So I'm gonna bring her volume up and it can get into the yellow a little bit. You just don't want it to get into the red at all because it'll really distort and not sound so great. So let's see if this sounds better. So welcome to my crafting slash dinner So that sounds pretty good. Because when we're at home, I don't have studio space. I just have to use what I have in front of me. So you'll find lots of paint. And then we and can do the same thing glue at the back. So let's say, let's find the end of the clip. And let's say we want that music to just kind of take us out also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull that down here, the end, bring it over a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go back to our. Um, because now we're in audio, so we have to go back to my media. And we're going to put, let's pretend that this is a different um, piece of stuff. So I'm going to pull it out so it's the same length. And remember, there's this transition here. So I'm going to put this transition in. And let's fade to black because that seems to work well going to black. And then we've got our little thing here. We don't want it to just all of a sudden scare us with music. So we're gonna pull this over. We'll see how this sounds. And let's get started. Okay. So um, the other thing you can do is on those, um, when you're in the audio, if you choose the one from the very end, the stuff at the very end tends to kind of have a natural wrap up. Um, and so that's kind of a good thing to put at the end. If you, if you um, remember, you're gonna do your in and then out. And then we can take, you know, we can get rid of this. So we're gonna highlight it and just hit delete. Okay, so that's gone. We'll bring this down here. Okay, and then we're gonna pull our thing over so it doesn't blare out. Okay, and then let's try that. And let's get started. Okay, so I hope that helps. If you have questions, just send me a note, okay? And I can walk you through whatever you have going on. You can also, if you get in a, in a real bind, just send me the video clips and I can stitch them together for you, okay? All right, I'll talk to you soon.